Morning guys and girls, I'm uh, at the beach. We've got these amazing cliffs behind me. I must admit I've done a really long walk along the beach and it's been so beautiful. And I kind of want to share with you the concept of re-earthing yourself and what does that mean. And you know, in the day-to-day -day busyness of life, um, we can get out of our exercise routines, we can be so busy that we forget about our physical body and our energetic body and our spiritual body, yeah. And re-earthing is such a simple technique, yet it's so cathartic and it is so relaxing and it gets rid of a whole lot of stress and brings you back to the natural state of being, yeah, um, within your human and your spiritual body. So it just means basically, I mean, I've got my shoes off, right? Shoes are in the car. My feet are in the sand. I've loved walking in the sand and it's that connection of your feet to Mother Earth. But it's more than that, yeah? It's, this, it's the sun on your skin, it's the wind, it's the sound of nature. And, you know, I often think back to a time I've always had a deep connection to Mother Earth. And I think probably for me, uh, in terms of the most joyful moment was when I was a child. And I was probably around the age of five or six. And we we're on a family picnic. We used to go on family picnics quite a lot. But uh, we'd always go to our national parks. And our national parks here, in, uh, I'm in Western Australia. There's a lot of bush and there was a river flowing through it and a bit of rapids as well. And, you know, I've got come from quite a big family in terms of siblings and I can remember my nan being there as well. And I just got lost in the moment. I was totally oblivious to anyone else and I was just soaking in Mother Nature. And I can remember just laying in this kind of like grassy field with lots of, I think there were like dandelions around me, um, you know, which would be like daisies. And just totally embracing Mother Earth and just feeling so joyful and so at peace. And you know, it's re-earthing is about coming back to that place and doing it as an adult. Doesn't matter what age you are, uh, it's great for any age. And it's, you know, we can get so busy in our lives and we can layer so much stress upon ourselves and so many expectations, particularly if you're somebody that's a high achiever or, you know, it doesn't really matter. We always have these highs and lows in life and how do we cope with those and re-earthing is one of them. And it's such a joyful experience. So I really, really encourage you to do it. And, uh, you know, I'll share a little story with you. So probably for about the last three or four weeks, I had this respiratory infection, yeah, which has been going around WA. Uh, wasn't COVID at all. And, uh, you know, if you know my story, I went through breast cancer in 2019, but the radiation damaged my lung. And I've had so much trouble in the last few weeks just <laughs> breathing properly and a whole lot of goop and whatever and I thought you know what is actually going on with my physical body because I'd had antibiotics and all this that sort of stuff right but it was still sitting in my chest and I literally was trying to exercise at the gym thinking you know I can't actually breathe right now and often when we have something that's stuck in our physical body is we're holding on to something emotional and I had a moment this week I was watching this uh, series on tv right on Netflix and I was just like tears the whole way through this thing and I'm thinking why am I so sensitive and over emotional there's more going on here than you know me watching this series and so yesterday um, I had a day where I just took the day off I wasn't planning to right um, but I did and I thought I was really tired and I think the breathing thing we've gotten to me I hope you don't mind me sharing right and I thought you know I haven't done guided meditations in a long time and I still do my readings every morning for myself you know for those of you that uh, followed my channel in terms of my oracle card readings um, I always find it very uplifting and <laughs> it keeps saying to me get out in mother nature on oh, nice. high steroids get out in mother nature and you know music always comes up for me in meditation and I, it's been quite a long time since I've done my meditation and for me, I do guided meditations. So if you have a look on my YouTube channel, there's a playlist of guided meditations, some of the top ones. Yeah, they're just so beautiful. And I literally did three or four in a row. Um, firstly, just to cleanse and to cleanse my chakras. And um, I could just feel what I'd done right is I had repressed the feelings around a couple of negative life experiences that had come up. Um, probably over the last three or four months and I thought I dealt with them but really all I'd done is push them down right and we can do that in life we can literally just try and get on with life and push that down and it was still there um, and it was sitting in my heart chakra and I cleared it and when I cleared it right 
um, there was just this part of this meditation was to breathe in deeply. And as I breathe, and you know, I've been having trouble just to expanding my lungs. And as I did it, I thought I took this really deep breath and I thought, wow, that really actually hurts. But let me breathe through this again. And I got to breath number three and I thought, actually, uh, my lungs are opening up. And I got to breath six and it had totally cleared. Yeah. Um, and sometimes with what I have got going on with my lung is it gets stuck together. Yeah. And when it gets a little bit infected, the lung actually sticks together and you get this pocket, you can't actually open the lung up. And that's what had happened. I'm like, oh, there's my aha moment. This morning. I woke up, my chest is so clear, I can breathe, uh, no coughing whatsoever. Now this is the power of sound, um, you know, in a lot of these guided meditations. So for me, guided meditations is I lay flat, elevate the head um, and listen to them and relax. And if you fall asleep, that's okay, yeah. But if you can release emotions, and I did release emotions, and I, what came up for me was a really important message that came up. So don't underestimate the power of sound and guided meditations. And it was the repressed feelings that had come up. And, you know, when we release them, we release them out of our physical body, we release them out of our energetic body and our spiritual body. Oh, my God, I feel so much better today, my love. So, you know, if you're ever struggling with things... There are many things that you can do that cost absolutely nothing to make yourself feel better. So one of them is re-earthing. It's just the most beautiful experience. And you know, in that guided meditation that I was doing, I realized that I had not been doing my beautiful nature walks, um, you know, here and there because work got in the way or the weather got in the way or I wasn't feeling great, yeah. I still been going to the gym for sure. Um, and I haven't done this long beach walk for so long. I'll pop some pics up on my Instagram, so go and check out because it's an amazing rock pool where I've taken some photos of it. I was looking for it because sometimes here in summer, right, you can find this rock pool. It's about two meters wide. It's about a meter and a half deep. It has a ledge you can sit on. There's fish that swim in it, right? And one day I came along and it was just the most idyllic moment. I'm sitting in there by myself um, watching the waves come in in this rock pool. And uh, I found it, but then sometimes it fills up with sand and like, damn it, it's filled up with sand, right? You can't sit in it. So go and check out my Instagram. I'll put my handle on here. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you. So there are so many beautiful ways that you can, on a, you know, weekly, even if it's just weekly or a daily practice, um, is to re-earth yourself and get in touch with Mother Nature and to release the stresses out of your body and anything that you're holding on to. Don't push it down, right? Deal with it in that moment or if you can have a private moment, cry the tears. I mean, often, you know, for me, what was coming up was sadness and a bit of anger and anger comes from deep hurt, right? And people can hurt our feelings and that's what had happened. Um, but we can also have anger from feeling a lack of respect, our boundaries being crossed, Um so it's really worth exploring your feelings and why you're feeling like you are and then to just release them. Forgive people, forgive situations. You don't have to forgive the behavior, right? Um, but it's about cleansing self. So if you're struggling with your health, if you're going through something and you're thinking, why can't I get through this kind of illness or this, um, you know, physical, I think physical injuries are a little bit different because your body has to take time to heal. You've got to ask yourself, what am I holding on to? And if, particularly if it's in the same part of your body all the time, really explore that and go what am I holding on to emotionally that I have not cleared that I've just pushed down yeah all right my love's gonna leave you with those pearls of wisdom have an awesome awesome day love your heaps all right bye